Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 11. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called hidden triple will be discussed. What we consider an advanced technique is a puzzle solving technique that is generally more complicated. To get good at an advanced technique requires a little more practice and recognizing and applying the technique. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. As with many Sudoku solving techniques, the process of finding a hidden triple in a Sudoku puzzle requires patience. When looking for hidden triples, we will cycle through all 27 houses. We will first look at the rows, then second look through the columns, and third through each of the nine blocks. We begin by looking at the house making up row one. In row one, we find a naked triple, so there is no possible hidden triple on this row. Next, we look at the house making up row two. When looking for hidden triples, we will have a three-step process for finding the hidden triple. The first step in the process is we ignore all possible candidates in the house showing up in more than three cells in the house. This is because if a possible candidate is showing up in four or more cells making up the house, then it cannot be part of a valid triple. If you are not sure what is a valid triple in a Sudoku puzzle, refer to DX Sudoku training video number seven for a complete explanation on the different types of triples. The first number we eliminate from possible hidden triple is the number three possible candidate. This is because in the house making up row two, the three candidate is located in four cells. This is too many cells for the three candidate to be part of a hidden triple. So our first step in the process of finding hidden triples is to ignore possible candidates occurring in more than three cells. We have highlighted all the possible three candidates in red to indicate they can't be part of a hidden triple inside the current house. We notice the possible four and six candidates occur in too many cells in the house to be part of a hidden triple. We have highlighted all the four and six candidates in red to indicate they cannot be part of a hidden triple. Once you have completed step one, the second step in the process is to ignore any cells having only one remaining possible candidate. We have highlighted all the cells having only one remaining possible candidate. For a cell to be part of a possible hidden triple, there must be at least two or three possible candidates remaining after you apply the first step. And now the third step in the process is to look for any valid triples with the candidates in the remaining cells after applying the first and second steps. For the house making up row two, all we have left is one cell with one, two, nine, and another cell with two, nine. So with only two cells remaining to consider, we do not have enough cells to find a hidden triple. We move on to the house making up row three. We do step one and nothing is highlighted in red. We do step two and nothing changes. We are left with four cells in the row. At this point, we try every combination and there are no valid naked triples, let alone a possible hidden triple. We move on to the house making up row four. The house making up row four already has a naked triple. Next, we consider the house making up row five. The house making up row five has a naked double. We move on to the house making up row six. The house making up row six already has a naked triple. Next, we consider the house making up row seven. This time, we apply our process for finding hidden triples. We do the first step in the process, and all the cells highlighted in red have too many possible candidates and too many cells to be part of a hidden triple. We do the second step of the process and two cells can be eliminated from consideration. And as a result, we have found a hidden triple highlighted in green. What makes this a hidden triple and not a naked triple is we can eliminate all the additional candidates from the three cells that are not part of the numbers making up the triple. The cells making up the triple are now highlighted in green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. 
Also note, many times we will see cells in the puzzle supporting our decision that we found a hidden triple. We have highlighted in blue all the cells in the puzzle that support our decision that we found a hidden triple in the house making up row 7. We remove the non-possible candidates from the cells where the hidden triple is located, and the result is we now have a, a naked triple in the house making up row 7. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, when we are looking for a hidden triple, we will cycle through all 27 houses. We begin by looking at the house, making up row 1. In row 1, we find a naked triple, so there is no possible hidden triple on this row. Next, we move to the house, making up row 2. We have a naked double, so there is no hidden triple on this row. We move to the house making up row 3. Again, we find a naked double, so there is no hidden triple on this row. We get to the house making up row 4, and we do our process for hiding hidden triples. The first step is we mark all possible candidates in the row that occur in too many cells to be part of a hidden triple. The second step is we mark all cells in red having zero or one possible candidate remaining after step one. This is because they have too few candidates in the cell for this cell to be part of a hidden triple. Now the third step in the process is to see if we have a valid triple with the remaining candidates in the remaining cells. With the three remaining cells under consideration, there is no possible valid triple with the remaining possible candidates in our process. With no hidden triple in the house making up row 4, we now take a look at the house making up row 5. We apply the first two steps of our process, and the candidates and cells marked in red should not be considered to be part of a hidden triple. We have three cells remaining in the house making up row 5 to consider to be part of a hidden triple, and the possible candidates in the remaining three cells do not form a valid triple, so there is no hidden triple on row 5. Next, we consider the house making up row 6. After doing step 1 and step 2 in our process of finding a hidden triple, we have highlighted all the candidates and cells we can ignore. We have 5 cells left with possible candidates, but there is no combination of the numbers or cells with these 5 remaining candidates forming a valid triple. So we can conclude there is no hidden triple in the house making up row 6. Next, we consider the house making up row 7. There is a naked pair on this row, so there is no possible hidden triple here. The house making up row 8 is next, and again, there is a naked pair on this row, so no hidden triple. Next, we consider the house making up row 9. We do step 1 and step 2 of our process of finding a hidden triple. We do step 3 and we find there is only two cells left for consideration, and this is not enough to make a valid triple. At this point, we have examined all nine houses making up the rows of the puzzle. Next, we will take a look at the nine houses making up the columns. We begin by looking at the house making up column 1, which has a naked triple, so no hidden triple within this house. Next, we look at the house making up column 2. We do step 1 and step 2 of our process for finding a hidden triple. The candidates and cells we can ignore are highlighted in red. When we do step 3 of the process, this time we easily find a hidden triple in this house making up column 2. We have highlighted the cells making up the hidden triple in green. We have highlighted the candidate numbers making up the hidden triple in dark green. And we have highlighted the non-possible candidates in the house making up column 2 in red. We remove the non-possible candidates and all we have left is a naked triple in the house making up column 2. As before, we are showing how numbers on the puzzle are supporting our decision that we found a hidden triple. There is one set of numbers in the house making up column 1 in blue, and another set of numbers in the house making up column 3 in purple. 
Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, when we are looking for a hidden triple, we will cycle through all 27 houses. For this puzzle, we have already cycled through all the rows using our process for finding a hidden triple, and we found no hidden triple. So then we cycle through all the columns using our process, and again, we found no hidden triple. So for this puzzle, we begin looking for a hidden triple by looking at the house making up block one. And block one has a naked double, so no hidden triple here. Block two has a full house, so we now look at the house making up block three. Again, no hidden triple here because all that is left is a naked double. Next, we look at the house making up block four. We do the first two steps of our process of finding hidden triples and nothing is highlighted in red. However, we do notice in the vertical center of the block there is a naked double. If we ignore the two cells making up the naked double, what we have left is a naked quintet. So there is no hidden triple in the house making up block 4. Next we consider the house making up block 5, but all we have left is a naked double so there is no naked triple here. We now look at the house making up block 6. We perform step one and step two of our process of finding a naked triple, and we have four cells left to consider. This time, after doing step three in our process, we find a naked triple, which is now highlighted in green. We have also highlighted all the non-possible candidates in red. We remove all the non-possible candidates from the house, making up block six. As before, we find numbers in the puzzle highlighted in blue, supporting our decision that we have found a hidden triple. Before we begin testing, please make sure to click on the link below and make a generous donation so we can continue making DX Sudoku videos. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the hidden triple before continuing.
If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the house containing the hidden triple. Pause the video again and identify the hidden triple and which non-possible candidates can be removed. Here is the solution. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 11. Thank you for watching.